So that's it for this week's show. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. Oh, have we made a mistake, David? Have we booked too many cruises? Should we go for a brew? Let's go. Put kettle Come on. Come on, put the kettle on. Let's go, David. Let's go. Oh, I think this one needs a good, strong coffee. Come on. Okay, so we better explain what's going on. Come on, let's go for a walk, shall we? Oh, so we found a nice spot to tell you all about our great news. We're a little bit nervous, but at the same time, very excited. We've booked eight different cruises this summer. Best of all, you're going to get to come along with us on all of our adventures. We can't wait to bring you along. Guys, I'm literally so excited, I can't even speak. I know. Are we crazy? Have we made a mistake? Who knows? But we're going to tell you all about the details about all these cruises that we're going on. And six of the eight cruises we paid for all of ourselves. We always divulge when we pay and when we don't pay. And unlike some of the cruise channels, unfortunately, that rely on free cruises that give you all of the lovely, beautiful and no negatives. We're going to tell you exactly what it's like and bring you all of the realistic footage and information and be just totally truthful with you. So our first cruise is coming up on the 20th of May, so in just over one month's time. So we're going to be on the inaugural voyage of the amazing MSC Virtuosa. Virtuosa. I'm so excited. It's just in one month's time and it's the first time in over a year we've been on a full cruise ship. I know we did Sea Dream last year, but that was just a tiny yacht. It's been well over a year since we were on an amazing cruise ship. So we're going to do a ship tour. We're going to take you all around, show you exactly what life is on board an MSC ship right now. We're really excited, aren't we? We are. If there's anything you want to see from MSC, any questions or areas of the ship you want to see, let us know in the comments section below right now, because we want to know from you what you want to see. Can you believe that the last time we saw the MSC Virtuosa, she was in the shipyard and she was just a piece of steel? How crazy is that? So we can't wait to see it all done. And it's the inaugural voyage as well. So we're going to be the first ever people to get on board. So that's super exciting as well. So how much did we pay for this cruise? So it was about £1,300, which yes, is very expensive for an MSC cruise, but it does include the premium drinks package and your gratuities as well, which is good, but still it is expensive. It's for a balcony cabin. So this is the first ever cruise to sail from the UK since the pandemic really excited about that as well. So our second cruise is coming up on the 11th of June, so just a few weeks later, and that's going to be on the amazing Disney Magic by Disney Cruise Line. Yay! So excited. This was our first ever ship, actually our first ship twice. Our first two cruises were on the Disney Magic, so we can't wait to get back on board. We weren't vlogging back then, so we can't wait to bring you loads of Disney fun-filled content. She's a super special ship. She means a lot to us. It was our honeymoon was our first cruise, so it's going to bring back some amazing memories memories. We haven't booked it quite just yet because they're not on sale as we're recording this video, but stay tuned on our Facebook page and our YouTube page because we'll let you know when we have and give you the details. Our third cruise is quite an adventurous one, wink wink. We're going to be flying all the way out to Nassau in the Bahamas on the 26th of June for a one-week cruise on board Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas. Now this is going to be an adventure. I'm a little bit nervous about this one because it involves a flight. Well, so two flights. Two flights and a pre-night stay as well so there's a lot of logistics going on here so fingers crossed it all goes to plan but this is one of the Caribbean sailings or Caribbean sailings that Royal Caribbean are doing so excited to show you what that's going to be like. Yeah it involves a two, an overnight stay in Coco Cay as well so we're going to bring you a ship tour, life on board, what's it like on board a Royal Caribbean ship right now as well as loads of other content as well. This cruise cost us around £2,100 for a seven night cruise in a guaranteed bar. Balcony. doesn't include tips, doesn't include drinks or anything else, just the cabin, but we can't wait to bring you along on this adventure too. And on top of that, we had to pay for the flights as well to Nassau and also a hotel um, at the airport the night before and in Nassau the night before as well. So it, it all is starting to add up, isn't it? And then just a week after we get back on that cruise, we're back on Royal Caribbean again on a four night sailing on board Anthem of the Seas from Southampton. We can't yes, wait. Yes, the first Royal Caribbean cruise from the UK. So it's going to be a new ship for us because we've never done Anthem before, but we have done the Quantum class a few times and it's Ben's favourite type of ship. Can't wait. For this cruise, it's a four night cruise in a balcony cabin. Again, a guaranteed balcony. It was £1,300, which is quite expensive for a cruise to nowhere. We have booked Ovation of the Seas a few years ago for the same cruise and it was about £400 cheaper altogether. So a little bit more pricey than usual, but again, expect a ship tour, 
loads of fun vlogs showing you what life on board is going to be like we can't wait can we yeah we really can't wait and once again anything in particular you want to see anything you want to see us talk about or ask about put it in the comment section below this is your time to let us know what you guys want to see i'm so excited I can't wait. Next up is another inaugural. It's the inaugural of the amazing p Cruises Iona. Now, this is the biggest cruise ship made for the UK market ever. We're going to be doing that on the 7th of August, and it's a week cruise to nowhere. But we are going to go up to the Scottish Highlands, which is very, very interesting, yes. to visit the island of Iona. So this is the, the ship's name. That's what it's named after. So we're going to be up in the Highlands, and that's going to be amazing. I think we'll have to pack our thermals for that one, and maybe a few seasickness tablets, because I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit rough but what an interesting cruise something we've never done before again really excited to see what the Iona is going to look like and we actually did book this a year ago but obviously she's been delayed so we've used our future cruise credit but this cruise was around two thousand three hundred pounds for one week again expensive so that's nearly three thousand dollars doesn't include anything like drinks or anything like that and it's got no port stops at all so for a cruise to nowhere again quite expensive but it's worth it to get on that inaugural voyage to bring you the first ever ship tour all of the information about food drinks light nightlife everything on board so we can't wait for that either can we no really really excited for that one next up is virgin voyages we're going to be on one of the british cruises by virgin voyages we can't wait we have to say this one is a press trip so it's the first one we're doing that is a press trip every other cruise we paid for ourselves but that doesn't matter we're still going to tell you exactly the truth and what we think some cruisers like making negative videos for no reason whatsoever we like to bring you the truth but we are optimistic people aren't we yeah looking forward to seeing what virgin what scarlet lady is actually going to be like when we can actually use the outdoor areas because if i don't if, i don't know if you remember but when we last visited the ship we are in the middle of a storm. It was horrific. Yeah, and all of the outdoor areas weren't even finished. There was loads of areas around the ship that weren't finished. We know a few of you had complaints about the cabins and things and no comfortable seating. Well, we're going to show you absolutely everything so you can have a really good look and decide for yourself because some of the comments didn't match up to what we saw. So we, we probably didn't show it well enough. So it's going to be great to get on for a few extra nights and be able to show you everything about this great ship. And who knows, we know they've made some changes in Italy to the ship as well. So we'd like to see those too. Could we see changes in the cabin with more storage well stick around and we'll let you know and next up we have two princess cruises we have one in the summer which we don't know the date for yet that's the other press trip which we can't wait for you so that's going to be on sky princess or regal princess so we can't wait to bring you that but we have another cruise where we're going to be taking my mum on board in october on the regal princess on a week's cruise yeah it's ben's mum's first time she's ever been on a cruise ship she's heard us talk about cruising for long enough so we thought we treat her to take her onto a cruise and i think she'll really enjoy princess yeah we're so excited to take her on board she is so excited every time i call her she's brought a new dress or something else she's really excited so we booked two cabins next door to each other balcony cabins and it came to a total of two thousand pounds for three of us in two cabins that's what amazing. a bargain stage. yeah we booked this uh, towards the end of last year so obviously it's before all the cruises started opening up so we got a really really good deal on that one and they're also doing the uh, upgrade for a small extra charge where you get a drinks package or dining and wi-fi and with princess ships we can't wait to bring you all about the ocean medallion technology which is going to make cruising really safe so we can't wait to show you that in action you are in for such a treat because guess what you get to come along on all of these adventures Absolutely. all eight adventures we are going to have so much content we can not wait we are so excited aren't we yes Yay! it's going to be such a busy summer so make sure that you do stay up to date with everything because as we know things could change things may get moved things may get cancelled so follow us on youtube make sure you are subscribed it's completely free or follow us on facebook and instagram because we'll update you if there is any changes to what we've said thank you so much for watching this video we really appreciate it we thought you'd, we'd bring you something a little bit different and thank you so much to all of our patrons as well you guys are amazing we bring you live shows zoom calls extra episodes extra behind the scenes footages and postcards whilst we're away so you're going to be getting a lot of postcards this year and our captain of the week is robert so ahoy, ahoy. there robert that's it till next time happy, happy cruising. cruising let's go oh, i don't even drink my coffee <laughs>